this? What's wrong? You seemed so sad at dinner. There's something I just don't understand. Does it have to do with the needlework examination? Hmm. When Minju started trouble earlier today, I don't understand why you didn't take the opportunity to denounce her to the granny. How could you resist? I know it hurts to see me lose, sis. But we just have to endure it, or else it could turn into an even bigger disaster. Besides, as far as you and I are concerned, all that matters now is passing the examinations. Even if that's the case, what about Minju? The granny didn't say a thing when she was late, not to mention the incident with the hot tea. At the very least, it's lucky the embroidery hoop wasn't splashed, or I'd really be finished. Speaking of the embroidery pattern, I was so impressed by how clever your Yuan Seeking Yang idea was earlier. I was really worried about you for a moment there. The time limit was so short. Taking a risk and hoping for the best was all I could do. It's a good thing that... It's a good thing His Highness showed up and helped you. You really are quite a lucky lady. As the ancient said, a just cause enjoys abundant support. It looks like that's certainly true in your case. <laughs> Sis, you really love butting in with things like that, don't you? I know you're shy, Sis, but His Highness's personality is really something special. It's easy to fall in love with at first sight, I'd say. Perhaps His Highness has already noticed your beauty, secretly keeping your handkerchief the other day without anyone noticing. Uh, don't make fun of me. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Besides, we should be focusing on making it through this election. Who cares about some prince? Fine. You'd better not let me catch you cooking up such ridiculous stories again. Anyway, weren't we just in the middle of discussing embroidery patterns? If you hadn't shared your patterns with me, I'm really not sure I would have passed today's exam. Based on the embroidery you did today, I can tell you've got a good eye for it. It's still quite early. Do you want to make a few new patterns to practice? That sounds lovely. I'd be honored to be accepted as your disciple, Master. In that case, be a good disciple and fetch my embroidery kit from the bag in the cabinet. As you say, Master. Other young ladies have reported that they suspect you of using witchcraft to harm others. Granny, I would never do anything so terrible. Calm yourself. Such evil practices are forbidden in the palace, so this house must be searched. But I'm not indiscriminate when it comes to right and wrong. If you've been falsely accused, I'll make sure that justice is upheld. If Mingzu has anything to do with this, it's likely that she's already made preparations in secret. No wonder she was so late today. All right then, Granny. Please go ahead with the search. If you don't find anything, please clear my name. Greetings, Granny. There's something I'd like to ask. Please permit me to speak. And I have always stayed in the same room. If she had really done anything, I definitely would have noticed. Huh. Why should anyone listen to you? If you're such close roommates, couldn't you just be protecting your friend?
Well then, if I'm accused of helping her hide a crime, then investigate me too. If I've been framed, then Lady Bayantu should apologize to us. There, she said it herself. She wants to be investigated. She'd better not try to back out later. Granny, please have them search faster. How dare you blame me, Bayantu Mingju, for something like this. I'll see you both sent to your deaths before this day is done. We haven't found any traces of witchcraft here. That's impossible. Did you conduct a thorough search? We've searched through every nook and cranny. There's simply nothing to be found. Impossible. There must be something wrong with your methods. there has been a misunderstanding. We beg your pardon. Granny, you handle the matter as an impartial judge. Still, what crime has been committed? In the Imperial Harem, accusations of witchcraft cannot be made without proof. I acted impulsively and misunderstood you two. I, I, I beg you for forgiveness. God, nothing terrible happened. Lingro, what did you find? Sis, come look at what I found. I found this among your belongings. There wasn't enough time to get rid of it before the granny came knocking. Thank goodness it wasn't discovered. You're a fool. How could you take such a stupid risk? They would have killed you if they'd found this. You've treated me all too well. I must repay you. Were you pierced by the doll's needles? It's nothing. Just a small cut. Imperial Kid
kitchen will be smoky, and the smell will soil your clothes. Why not change into something else first? Ladies, you have all successfully passed the needlework exam. Today is the last hurdle before the final selection. There are no special requirements. Simply prepare your best dish. each dish. Then hold up this tile if approved. Is that understood? This plate of Maypo tofu is quite delicious. Who is the chef? Granny, I prepared this dish. What special ingredients were used? I'll be happy to tell you, Granny. In order to perfect the texture, I added crushed bean curd, salted egg yolk, and chicken strips. The heat was added at just the right moment as well. Excellent work. Thank you for your praise, Granny. Ugh, that wretched girl is getting cocky. Father, your daughter has just one important test left. Don't move. There's no reason to be alarmed. You must have fainted due to your anemia. But Granny... I noticed something was off while we were walking through the covered promenade. Don't worry, I didn't tell the Granny. We wouldn't want such a trivial matter to impact tomorrow's selection. I've caused you so much trouble, sis. It's nothing. This is my responsibility. I didn't tell you that I felt unwell this morning. This must be just a lingering symptom. Sis, you must promise not to hide anything from me ever again. <sighs> this childhood game puts my mind at ease. Sis, you should get some rest. I'll prepare some soup for you. Studying scrolls will boost the talents of your attendants. Give it a go. You're fair and beautiful. This new outfit goes well with your complexion. 
the landscape paintings embroidered on your dress make me think of the old saying, skin as white as an icy gem, clothing like a rosy sunset. Let's get going or else we'll be late. What's wrong with your face? My face? Did someone hurt you? Don't you lie to me. Nothing happened. Please don't worry. As His Majesty commands, this year's selection will be administered in an auspicious location as ordained by Head Shamaness. Await further instructions once we're inside the Imperial Garden. Head Shamaness is so powerful. It's incredible that this year's selection will be held in the Imperial Garden. It's nerve-wracking that His Majesty will heed the Shamaness's advice. We shouldn't be discussing this. His Majesty is arriving! Aid Shamaness, please. Young ladies, you will first come forward five at a time to state your birthdays. Please listen. That's an interesting name. You may remain. This young lady has failed. Your Majesty, the final selection this year is not up to standard, I'm afraid. It's best if we simply end it here. Please allow me to enlighten you. The final selection shall have a beginning, middle, and end. I've determined that there is yet an auspicious individual among us. Since it seems that you're tired, why don't you return to your quarters and rest? As you wish. That little beast. Let it go. It'll return when it's hungry. The next row of five may come forth for His Majesty. Raise your heads. Your humble servant, Liang Jia Ling Ro, at your service. Congratulations to your majesty, the emperor. A young lady like this is exceptional and hard to come by. The crab apple flower adorned in your temple is unique. You may remain. Yang Jia Lingro, you may keep the tile and take a perfume satchel. Next is age 16. Daughter of Deputy Governor of Feng Tian Prefecture, Shan Yuan.
raise your head. Do you know where the scene embroidered on your dress takes place? It is Lo Shui, Your Majesty. You are aware that the location is Lo Shui. Have you read the Lo Shen Fu? It was written by Kaoshi of the Three Kingdoms, inspired by the goddess who visited him in his dreams. As if the moon was shielded by luminous clouds, Uncertain as the wind returns to the snow. Kaozi finally met the goddess from his dream. Yet I wonder, do I share this fate? Will I meet the goddess from my dream? Your Majesty, I've investigated this young lady's hexagrams and found her fortune to be quite blurred. It's difficult to determine the good from the evil. Quite strange indeed. I urge you to carefully consider your decisions. As I recall, Goddess Lo was thought to be unpredictable as well. The world looked upon her as a disaster, yet she produced fine airs. I see no problem here. Let her remain. Stay and take a perfume satchel. Stay and take a perfume satchel. Thank you, Your Majesty. Brother, brother, I finally passed the selection. I will find ways to certify that you are guiltless. Thank you for the crabapple flower. that his majesty has his sight set on you, sis. Oh, hush, sis. There's no need to poke fun at me. <laughs> sis, you're so bashful. God is low. Now I'm sure that's a name you can live up to. Under the holy command of his majesty, our kingdom is at peace and our administration is stable. It is time to make the final selection. The selected ladies must be elegant and beautiful, always maintain composure, possess a kind heart and treat her maids with compassion. The Ministry of Rights shall order the Imperial Decree. Please prepare yourselves.